Clinical depression is a relatively severe psychiatric disorder. Its impact on functioning is relatively severe, so that most people with major depression are not able to go about their regular life. But most of the reason why depression runs in families is genetic, so that we knew that somewhere on this human genome exist individual risk factors for depression. We've not been able to crack that nut to be able to move from the evidence that there's some genetic risk factors there, as we know from twin studies, to localizing them specifically. That's what that was the purpose of this study. So we made a couple of uh, important decisions at the beginning of the study. First, we decided to study only women. So were we to include both sexes, actually it's likely that we'd get some mix-up of the findings between the men and the women. Second, we decided to do the study in China because the Han Chinese population is relatively homogeneous, both from a genetic and a cultural perspective. Third, we decided to include only cases of recurrent major depressions. In addition, we required all the cases with major depression to be at least 30 years of age. And finally, although we didn't entirely plan this ahead of time, it is the case that women of that generation in China have virtually no alcohol or drug abuse, and even their rates of smoking are well under 5%. That we were able to localize two regions, we call these, these are specific genetic variants, that occur statistically more commonly in individuals with depression than controls. So what that tells us that somewhere in this relatively small genomic region, there are actual variants in the DNA that impact on risk for illness. That's the most exciting part. This represents an important boon, showing that this is a technique which has worked for many other complex disorders that will work for depression.